season three starts off with Bates still in prison. So, um, yeah, and we can't tell you. We can't, we just can't. Anna's fighting to free her man, so Anna's mission is certainly to, to, you know, to prove the innocence of her man, and that's, that's all. She's very blinkered about that. You know, she's, that's what she's focusing on. I read something, somebody asking you about Bates, a sex symbol image. The ladies love Mr. Bates. Oh. You get ah. love letters and proposals. And I got, I got, yeah. I got, I got sent a pair <laughs> of underpants from a man. Did you? Yeah, I didn't I did. know that. I'll tell you that. No. Because I'm wearing them. They're really tight, though. <laughs> now, I'm asking all the ladies about the clothing. I guess your clothing isn't quite as restrictive as some. Um, yes, my clothing is quite a simple wardrobe of um, <laughs> a green maid's outfit. And You're a black dying for a ball gown. <laughs> I'm dying for a ball gown. I think you look fantastic in your costumes. Yeah, I, I love my costumes. I mean, you know, your Anna I, costume. My, I, I love Anna, and you know, it'd be ridiculous. You know, she can't turn up in twin set and pearls because she's the maid, and, and that's what it is. But, um, but I, I, you know, I love her. I wouldn't want to play any other role. Even, but when you visit me in prison, your little hats, your new hats. Oh, I hate my hats, though. I love your I hats. I hate my hats. They're really itchy. She looks great. And her <laughs> itchy hats. They're great, those costumes, though, because they, they affect the way you move. Mm. I mean, you're more upright and little stiff collars, and you know, it really straightens you up. Yeah. Um, the boys are always moaning about their collars being stiff, yeah, and we're yeah. always going, well, you should try wearing a corset. What part of each of your characters, Anna and Bates, have, has inspired you or has, has rubbed off on you in any way? Um, for me, with Anna, um, I think, you know, I think something has rubbed off on me slightly in the fact of, um, when I was kind of deciding how to play her in, in season one, and, and I decided, you know, she has to be very emotionally involved and she's got a very strong head on her shoulders and, you know, which, which, is, which just was given to me by, by Julian's writing. It was, it was very easy decisions to make. Um, and, but the, the thing that I wanted her to be. I didn't want her to be a kind of wishy-washy, nicey-nicey. I wanted her to have this strength and, you know, and not suffer fools gladly. Um, and that's something I've taken from her a little bit, that I could be a little bit more like that. What about you? I've just, I've just enjoyed... Um, nothing's rubbed off on me, but I've enjoyed... When I was playing this part, I, was, I got to thinking about my two granddads, my Irish grandfather and my Scottish grandfather, and they were two men who worked... They were steel workers. But they were very dapper men, you know, they, they'd work they'd slog their guts out in the steelworks, mm. but they'd always scrub up, and at, at the weekends they'd be immaculately dressed, and they were very stoic men, they'd fought in the war. And I thought a lot about them when I was um, playing the part, and that's been a, that's been a, a good thing.